Woo! Uh, yeah, I got this new term, man. Uh, uh, it's not a new term, but it's a real old term. But it's just a new way to use the old term. I call this uh, tenderfoot. All right, a tenderfoot is a person who is afraid to tread certain places, like uh, conversationally, you know what I'm saying, intellectually, spiritually, truthfully. That's what a tenderfoot is. A tenderfoot is someone who likes to beat around the bush or likes to run away when you say something serious and, uh, you know, they just can't handle it. So they try to avoid the subject to just run away or avoid, plug their ears. That's another tenderfoot is a speak no, hear no, see no evil type person. Uh, like the ostrich who likes to stick its head in the sand uh, when it sees a tiger coming because if it can't see the threat, there's no threat in its mind, but yet it still is devoured. That's uh, tenderfoot philosophy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me, I personally am not a tenderfoot at all. I'm the I'm a bull in the uh, China house when it comes to uh, places that I can go conversationally. Because it's like, look, I I've uh, just heard a lot of stuff. So it's like there's you can take I can go anywhere and I can you know I can jive with you on certain topics man a lot of them broad uh, broad spectrum of topics because I don't know that's what kind of person I am I was in high school I was on quiz bowl that's just trivia you know what I'm saying I didn't stay in it for long because I didn't school it's just the prison. They're getting ready for prison, basically, because you go, you go to jail, and you I remember school. You know what I'm saying? For instance, they're just so mechanical, cold, machine, soulless, devourer of soul, trafficker in men's souls, of institutions. I mean, they truly are. And if you really pay attention nowadays to what they're doing in the schools, man, it's just straight re-education, brainwashing. I mean, why does a fourth grader need to know all sexual positions, gay, straight? Why do they need to know that? It's, that that's that's just some extremist mind control. Uh, I mean, it's what it is. It's using human nature against us in a in a powerful way, because we're all prone to that type of behavior anyway. So all you got to do is encourage it younger. And it, people get so distracted during that, that you know, the interchange between uh, people, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know, man. I just found that's been a big distraction to keep us on the rat wheel, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, tender footing is being overly PC, man. I mean, look, dude, if you're PC, don't talk with me. Just, just warn me in advance and... We don't have to uh, have no words with one another because, uh, I mean, PC is just basic NLP reprogramming. It's just they're trying to use this hypnotic suggestion, repetition, force to nudge you. You know, like nudging someone with the elbow like this. Nudge you and inv invasively, like, it's like, you got, let me think, like, you know, the no-fly zone, you keep, uh, well, the no-fly zone needs to go back just 10 more feet, and then the next day, uh, well, 20, and then before you know it, you're totally encroached, you got no, no room to move, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to nudge you into, basically, uh, thought crime, and, and, and any, any, uh, movement in any direction, oh, oh, uh, he must be vaporized and take his, uh, microchip and throw it down the memory hole, basically. I mean, it's, it's whack like that, but I mean, it seems like that's the way they're going. Uh, I mean, tender footing is also like clinging to the old paradigm. Like, I just, I just watched, I, I, I just 
caught the energy of the elections, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, it's just so left-right paradigm that, uh, you know, I just, here, here, let me tell you something here, it's like, I voted once, and I voted for Al Gore, and I'm totally, uh, ashamed of myself that I voted for him anyway, because he's a hypocrite, uh, uh, fear monger, profiteer, sympathy monger, green tax, uh, uh, death tax, air tax, uh, bailist, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, geothermal engineering, uh, you know, uh, academic fascist, uh, symbol idol, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, I voted for him and then come to find out they cheat down in Florida to get Bush in, you know, and then I was like, man, what the fuck, and I, I just, I, I lost faith, I, I knew the system was, was rigged since then, I mean, come on, dude, if you can't, that's, you're being a tenderfoot, come on, dude, listen, let's go swim in the deep end now, you can take off the training wheels and, and take off the floaties, look, we can tread anywhere the truth goes, you know what I'm saying, two plus two equals four, this is our that's our tool, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> to, uh, you know, see what, what is what, you know, a spade is a spade, a hoe is a hoe, an apple is an apple, an orange is an orange, these are, this is the, these are the basic principles, man, of even science, this, that's science broken down into, uh, into a little tiny piece, like deconstruction, reconstruction, that means you're into construction, but you do, both, you take things apart and put them back together, or you put things together, then take them apart, you know what I'm saying, and this is the microcosm, macrocosm, the forest in the trees philosophy, man, I'm just telling you, dude, uh, if you read the Bible, Jesus was on that, I mean, I'm not comparing myself to him, but when you speak that way, I mean, you know, it's, it's, this is the price of tea in China, instead of talking about uh you know this over here that isn't related but instead it's the exact opposite it's actually staying on point and on target like in the bullseye zone and uh like i said this is where the hornets are at and for some reason they d decided to build their pc hive at the bullseye and they just keep building the size of the hive so you if you anytime you throw rocks at the target at the uh you know at the dartboard uh it you're hitting the nest so it gives them a reason to stir up and and attack you and try to nudge you into shutting up you know what i'm saying and when no that's not uh it's not how I, everyone should uh be able to speak their mind to a certain extent you know what i mean if i was sitting here calling out for something uh you know uh Something, to, you know, outrageous. So, uh, if I was asking you to do something, I'm not. I'm just asking you to think about things and stop being so afraid to look at uncomfortable topics, man. It's not critical thinking. This is what basically what I'm saying. Uh, tenderfoot in this cognitive dissonance. You know what I mean? That's uh, it's uh, it's a not a good characteristic. It's it's cowardly, it's negative, it's, uh, it's wimpy, sissified, I mean, I'm sorry, look, don't be so tenderfoot that you get too offended when you hear a term like that, man, the, the language is that way for a reason, you know what I mean, uh, there's a, I'm never going around intentionally to hurt anyone's feelings or anything like that, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta tell it straight, and that's, just talking real talk right there that's grown grown man talk you know what i'm saying and grown men shouldn't be tenderfoots grown women for that matter as well but you know but try to do it as tactfully as possible that's i'm, I'm it's the best advice i could give if you want to jump out of the tenderfoot zone <laughs>